So I've been looking for a project truck and I got a 07 F-150 FX4. So now it does have that three valve 5.4 in it. And what this tells me is that we are getting some oil in the coolant somewhere. Anyways, there's our harness. You see this right here? This is exactly why I want to inspect this harness. Ford, why? Now well, that is certainly not as good as I was hoping. I can keep in mind this is the PCV side, so this is going to be a little nastier, but uh, yeah, still, this engine has not been well loved. We can see higher than uh, acceptable levels of wear on those cam lobes. Number seven doesn't look as bad. Number eight does look pretty bad. And number eight was one of the two that we were having compression issues with. Our phaser is sitting clocked correctly right now. All right, on the other side here, we have something that's a little more typical. We definitely have some carbon and sludge and crap that's definitely building up here. Now that type of thing is not gonna make this type of very finicky uh, variable cam timing system work. But interesting design uh, architecture in here. That's pretty neat. This has a couple hundred thousand kilometers on this engine. I think that's around 120,000 miles or so. This is probably, for the most part, what I was expecting to see. I was just really hoping that the inside would be uh, as well loved on as the outside of that truck had been. But, it doesn't always work that way, does it? So with only 200,000 kilometers or around 120,000 miles on this, uh, if this engine had been meticulously maintained, uh, we would have seen uh, general overall coloring like this under our valve covers. Uh, very little, if any, uh, crud buildup. This is the non-PCV side. You can see there is a fair amount of uh, crud. Uh, it's not just a simple varnish, but there's a granularity and thickness to the crud. Over here on our PCV side, uh, it's just that much more worse. We can see there's quite a bit of buildup here on our cam phaser, the spring assembly. I can only imagine what the oil journals inside of here look like. We're going to just let our plug sit overnight. Something else that we want to take uh, a quick look at here is our injector pattern uh, in the intake. Uh, a lot of vehicles that are not direct injection, uh, as is the case with most older vehicles, uh, you can get a bit of a feel for how the injector pattern is spraying, uh, if there might be a reduction in dosage or a reduction in atomization of the fuel. And the way we look at that is by looking at the washdown patterns from the injectors. Now the injectors are spraying gasoline. Gasoline is a very high quality solvent. As a result, uh, we can look at where there is carbon buildup and where it's uh, and where there isn't on the intake side of things, and that will give us a bit of an idea as to whether or not we might have an ejector that is uh, not atomizing properly or even not firing. So one way to get a look at that is we take our intake manifold off here. And we're just going to be looking down our intake plenums. That is a good wide pattern. We're seeing spray happening over a wide area. This is another typical good looking pattern. Number seven here is uh, not too bad, but it is noticeably uh, less clean than number five and six. Uh, number eight is significantly dirtier. And we want to check at the back sides here too. We see this streak running right down here. A streak like that can be indicative of uh, an incomplete atomization or incomplete spray pattern of the injector. Back up here at number five, we see what a good pattern should look like. A little bit of black, generally not overly wet and fairly clean. Now looking over on the right bank, here's number one. We can see how there is uh, what looks like a normal distribution curve in there. Uh, basically, um, see how this looks a bit like a fishtail coming down each side. That is not a good sign of a uh, injector that's performing at maximum. 
Whereas here, it is more of an arch. That is a better sign of an injector uh, that is atomizing correctly. Now looking here from the valley side of the intake plenums, we have a pretty good pattern there. It's a little bit more reduced. We have more pronounced dark black uh, crud buildup, carbon buildup in there. Number two here, that's what we really want to see in a properly firing engine. You can see that unlike right over here in number four, where there's a hard line, what we have is we have a gradual fade off. And number one looks pretty good, uh, but we do have a little bit of streaking happening. Honestly, that's what I would be expecting for an engine with this type of mileage on it. This is not a high mile engine, but it is definitely past its break-in period, and it is into its breakdown period. The reason this type of thing is important is that if we had, for example, a no-fire situation and the compression's reading out fine, and we see that we have spark, um, looking at uh, the fuel injector spray patterns like this could tell us another part of the story that we might not be seeing, you know, especially if you have an injector that is uh, malfunctioning severely.